How's it going guys, I'm Danny. And if you've been watching the channel for a minute, you know that I've struggled in the past with nose up. And I think I've unlocked something that can help a lot of people throw with a more nose down angle. So first I'll go into a little bit more of the basics of what a nose down angle is. A nose down means the disc is flying at the most aerodynamic angle relative to the direction it's flying, right? So if you're throwing a flat shot, I'm actually gonna go this way. Okay, so if you're throwing a flat shot, you want the disc to be flat. You don't want the disc tilted back. This is what's known as a nose up throw. And, and nose up is kind of more typical. So that's why nose down is really what I, what I used to refer as, what I used to refer to a nose flat angle. But if you're throwing upwards, you want the disc to match that angle. So this is not inherently a nose up angle if you're going up here. But if you were throwing flat, this would be a nose up angle. So uh, another question that I get a lot is where is the nose? The, the disc is spinning, so how can you tell where the nose of the disc is? And the answer to that is it's, it's kind of the outer edge of the disc. It can be any point along that as the disc is rotating. It's whatever part of the disc happens to be pointing forwards at that moment. So it's, it's always on the front of the disc regardless of how it's rotated. Does that make sense? So think of the disc as a whole while it's rotating and it's the front edge of that. That's what the nose is. So the reason you don't want to throw with a nose up angle is uh, number one, because it flies less aerodynamically, right? If a disc is flying like this, it's got a much narrower profile and it's going to be able to cut through the air and go a lot farther than if the disc is tilted backwards. Then you're going to get air coming into the bottom and it's not going to fly nearly as aerodynamic or nearly as far. Also, if a disc is, what causes a disc to turn is the air rushing over it and pushing down on the, on the front of the nose. Gyroscopic precession causes that downward force to be applied on the right wing and it pushes it down for a right hand backhand throw. Don't worry about it. You, you need a disc to be nose down to get it to turn. That's a, that's a reason a lot of people don't like throwing drivers is because they're used to throwing with a nose up angle and putters and mid ranges because they have a blunter nose, they're much more forgiving of that nose up angle. But drivers require a nose down angle to get a clean flight out of it. So if you're struggling with nose up, if you're struggling with throwing drivers, the culprit might be nose up. So what I've noticed that a lot of people do uh, that's causing them to throw nose up is throwing at the ground. And this comes from form checks that I've done on stream from my friends in Discord. And that's, uh, that's throwing at the ground. And what I mean by that is they're reaching back high and then their follow through or their release point is low. And to prevent from throwing the disc in the ground, they're tilting it back. I've actually heard of a drill where people throw the disc at the ground and, and progressively farther away from themselves and that's supposed to teach them how to throw a disc but that's actually teaching them very effectively how to throw with a severe nose up angle so let me demonstrate a little bit what i'm talking about here here we go this is the first throw that's that's a demonstration of what not to do that's a demonstration of throwing with a nose up angle because of a high reach back so you see right there my reach back is about by these leaves kind of by the bottom of these leaves and my release point is kind of down here so this angle is down this is a downward angle. So if I were to throw with a nose down angle relative to where, relative to the line that I pulled it on, then the disc would go into the ground about a hundred feet away from me. I would be, I'm throwing the disc down, but because the disc didn't go into the ground a hundred feet away from me, I'm throwing, uh, that, that means that I'm throwing with a nose up angle. I'm sort of air skipping it and getting a straight flight. So what, what should you be doing? What's more typical? Well, uh, an, an ideal shot is right here. This is kind of a distance line, so it's a little bit higher than most, but it's a, it's a demonstration of what, what more of an ideal reach back is. Here it is again in slow motion. Um, you see my reach back is right here, right? It's around, around the, the top of your abs, right around your lower chest area is where, is where the most power comes from your reach back. And then I'm pulling, the, oh boy, I'm out of practice. That brace is not good. And my release point is kind of chest high. So if it goes from lower chest to chest height, then the disc should be flying about out there where my pointer is. And it did just that. So because I'm throwing the disc upwards and I'm getting a flight that's upwards, that means that my disc is flying nose down. So mentally, uh, what's a good way to think about this? It's, it's a good idea to think of like a, a hula hoop, maybe up, maybe much bigger than that because hula hoops are kind of small. Um, but you want to think of a, a target in the sky that you're aiming for. And I always teach to reach back straight opposite of your target for hitting gaps, but that also applies to hitting, uh, to getting the disc nose down, to hitting the, the height that you're looking for. So if you're aiming up in the air, you want to reach a little bit lower and that's going to cause you to throw it higher and, and maintain that nose down angle. 
So that, that's where I think most people should reach back for like most of their of their disc golf lines, most of their, their golf lines that they're throwing. But if you're trying to throw something a little bit differenter, that's a word, more different. This is a demonstration in just a second. Hang on. Okay, this is a demonstration of a downhill throw. You see my reach back is a little bit higher and my release is a little bit lower. And this shot... This shot isn't isn't a lot lower than the than the previous one, but also I'm not super great at disc golf, so um, that's why. But you can see here my reach back is is a little bit higher because the other one was like down here, and then my release point is right about there, and then the disc flies a lot lower, a much lower line, whereas the other one was like up here. So if you're trying to throw downhill, that is when you want to reach back higher. But thinking of mentally a lower target that you're aiming for is going to help you be able to get that nose down a little bit more effectively. Also, I had a wicked right to left crosswind, so anything with hyzer was lifting out of my hand. That's why it looks like that one went a little bit higher. So a common question that I get also is, how do I throw up and over something and maintain a nose down angle? If I'm trying to aim up in the air, how do I get the nose down? Well, like I said, a shot that's angled this direction is not necessarily nose up. So if, if you're throwing up and over something, you want the disc to be even to be parallel to the line that you're throwing. So if you're going up, then the disc does need to be angled up. You just need to know that it's going to stall out because that's generally the way the way discs go. If you're if you're looking for more of like a big distance line, then you want to throw it a little bit nose down relative to the trajectory. And that's just going to mean you have to tilt your wrist down a little bit more as you're pulling it to get that nose down angle and get it up in the air. Here's an example of throwing an Anheuser as I'm going uh, this is a, a big Anheuser. I had a very strong right to left wind, so this one didn't go very far. But you can see I'm trying to throw it up. So I reach back even lower than the other shot, right? See, this is a, this is kind of the lower ab area. And my release point is kind of upper chest. So this shot is going much higher up in the air, but it's still nose down relative to the trajectory, relative to, to the direction that the disc is flying. So that is uh, a little bit of something that, I, that I've been thinking about for throwing nose down. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what you think of this style of this uh, sort of off the cuff kind of with the, the nice microphone, but kind of the, the worst quality camera. Let me know what you think of this kind of off the cuff style of video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and always remember slow is smooth and smooth is far.